Hey guys, I made a setup video before about how to set this up for the very first time. However, does that mean you have to set it up every single time you move your Starlink? So you're going camping, you're going one place to another. No, no. All you have to do is hook it up. So I'm going to teach you that right now. So right now you guys can see it's disconnected. That's because it's stored away in my RV and I'm going to teach you what I do. All right, so whenever I hit my next camping spot, I have it stored right in here. So here it is. That's how I have it stored. That's the router. There it is. So I'm going to take that out. Here is the stuff. So all I have to do is just assemble it back. Again, some people just keep this inside their RV. I had that before, but now I just leave it outside actually. And then uh, I'm just gonna plug everything back in. So that just means I put this cable through. I just put this here. And then what I do is I place this facing already facing north. So I know it's gonna be facing north all the time. Depends where you guys are at, but usually this will be facing north. Depends again, where you're at, it's gonna be facing northwest or east. Most likely northwest for you guys. But just place it north and that way it's going to move wherever it needs to move. At that point, it's already facing kind of where it has to face. And I'm showing you this on my iPad, but same thing on your phone. You guys are going to see this obstructions. So you guys can scan the sky. Just use your phone to scan the sky. See where it's best to place your Starlink. And I also want to mention that to start up your Starlink app, you don't need any data. So if you guys have no data plan on your phone, you don't need it. You don't need none of that. As you guys can see, I'm not connected to any Wi-Fi right now. That's because I haven't turned on my Starlink, but that's what we're going to do next. So I'm just going to place my Starlink right here. It's all hooked up. And then with my router, it's to see that everything's connected. And now I'm going to plug it in. So in my RV, there's several places I can plug this in. And uh, that's all you guys have to do. Just plug this into your outlet. And here we go. So once you plug it in, on the bottom of your router, you should see a little light. So that small light should be lit. That means it's turned on. And now on your phone or tablet or pretty much anything, your computer, just go into your Wi-Fi network and look for that Wi-Fi. So you guys already created that during the setup process. Yes, it's not gonna show you that right away, but right here, just a, it takes just a few seconds, by the way. Just tap on it and there you go. If you have a clear sky and it's already pointing, you could get internet in just a minute. In other cases, it could take a few minutes to actually catch up with a satellite. So right now it's okay that it tells me that there's no internet connection. That's okay. I'm just going to minimize this. And now that I connected this up, uh, it should say that it's calculating orientation. There you go. That's the whole setup. You guys don't have to do this every time. Okay. Just have to plug it in, go ahead, Wi-Fi network, and that's it. You don't even really have to open up the Starlink app. But I like to see what's going on and if everything's working all right. And sometimes there's software updates that are happening. So that's happening right now. Just have to let that be. And it's just automatically going to do it for you. It does need to download some stuff sometimes. So just let it do what it, it's got to do. But at this point in time, although it's downloading software and all that stuff, it's calculating the orientation, you might have internet. So you can just test that out by going to Google. And we're just going to search for a speed test. We're going to run the speed test and there we go. So we have internet. This only took about a minute, but that's it. In some cases it's seconds, 30 seconds. And there you go. So once again, all I really did was plug in the router, just place my Starlink and connect to the Wi-Fi network. That's it. That's your setup. You are all done. All right, guys, we're going to do a speed test. You guys can see exactly what speed you guys can get out of your Starlink. So your speed will depend also on obstructions. If there's any trees that are getting in the way and all that stuff. Luckily, in this location, I have nothing. And I already went on a road trip where I used my Starlink the entire time for an entire month. So it was useful, very useful. But anyways, let's just go into the speed test. And yes, the speed test here is just fine. Same thing as going to Google and then just doing the speed test from there. So right now you guys are going to see what you guys get right now. Now the download speed is pretty good usually. The upload speed is horrible. When I'm talking about streaming, it's doing some gameplay and then stream it out. That's almost useless just because the upload speed, as you guys can see, it's only 15 megabytes, which is so slow. And no, that barely gets any better. So we're just going to run that again. And I'm doing this from the app itself from Starlink. And right now, this would be the best speed that I can get at the moment because there's nothing in the way. So there's that speed. We're going to go into Google and run the speed test as well. 
So right now in Google, we're just gonna run a speed test. And here we go. So it's gonna be the same thing as the app technically. And the more we run it, sometimes it gets better or worse, and it does get better or worse over time. Uh, right now, I've never seen 233, by the way, before. <laughs> In my entire road trip, the average that I was getting was 60 megabytes. And that's because, again, in the part of Canada that I went to, there just, it wasn't like that great. I'd also like to mention that it depends what time you're using your Starlink. So there's times that it gets pretty fast, other times that you guys almost can't use it that much for extensive stuff. So if you guys are planning to use your Starlink, let's say just to watch Netflix and stuff, it's always gonna work, it's always gonna be pretty good. Unless you have um, obstructions on your way, then it's almost useless. But if you guys are planning to maybe do some gameplay and stream it to your fans, then that could be a problem. Uh, overall, even with this speed, just because the upload speed's so slow, it's uh, not a good experience. So if you guys wanna see examples of me doing that, because I did do that, I did stream gameplay, uh, during my whole trip that was from July till August. So watch any of my streams from Fortnite that were done from all the way from July to August. All those were done using Starlink. And I tried to do those really early in the morning because later on it would just get really, really laggy. So anywhere from 8 a.m. and so on, it was really laggy. But in the morning from 2 a.m. to 5 a.m., it was great. Almost until 6 a.m., it was still pretty good. Again, I did lag, but it just it was playable. Then from 8 a.m. And, and on, it was pretty bad. So I could not do that. So overall, I do recommend Starlink. Works great. If you guys have basic work that you don't need that much upload speed, you guys should be doing fine. So I would say for most people, this is fine. For those of you who upload videos like me, stream videos as well, it's not the best thing, but it's all we got at the moment. So I was able to work for a full month with Starlink doing what I do and what I do uses a lot of internet but anyways as far as this video goes we're all done if you guys have any comments questions you guys can write down here in the comments area don't forget to subscribe and like thank you